Hi guys, my name is Ronki Adekonvi, aka Auntie Roro, your most impressive storyteller. I love to speak, I love to write, amongst many other things. Welcome to your favorite show, Tuesday Teaser, where I'll be continuing our series on the A to Z of the things you might need to deal with as a single lady above 30. Today is for letter V, my people. V is for va 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 vum, for vivacious, for vernacular. Hmm. I have my my V vocabulary. Even vocabulary stands from V. My vocabulary in the V register is extensive. I can go on and on and on and on and on and on. Anyway, don't mind me. Welcome to the rainy season. Hey, the way rain has been falling in Lagos these days. It's just remaining small like this for Lagos to turn into a pool. I don't know how your side has been. Me, almost throughout last week, I had to wade through waters. It's just remaining small for me to be walking on waters. Before, we were praying for rain to come. Now, rain has started. We are pay praying for the rain to go. Human beings can never be content. It is what we are facing right now that is a pressing need with us, honestly. As in, that's the truth. In my fellow Christian sister's voice, I will say it is well. Today, we will be talking about vanity. Vanity upon vanity. All is vanity. Vanity. Vanity is defined as an excessive pride in or admiration of one's appearance or achievement. While this is not a particular trait, it's not, a, it's not proprietary. Vanity, being labeled vain, is not proprietary to the Tatian or to the single lady above 30. She, however, more than most Age, age brackets has a higher chance of actually being labeled vain. So you hear things like, that's why you are not married. You are vain. While you are expected to say look good, you are not exactly expected to look out of this world good. Otherwise, you can be labeled vain. You don't want to scare the guys. That's the thing. That's the excuse you hear most of the time. So I will have to say, excuse me. Where is the balance? I mean, if some people are naturally extra by nature, like that's their nature. They are not trying to impress anybody. When they dress, like they are the kind of people that will appear on a Monday morning in pink suits, bright pink, stunning suits, and they will look good with it. And it's not just ladies, though, but not just because the, the show is for ladies. So let me just focus on ladies. So you can't, exp you can't tell them that because they are like that, they should tone down their personality for others. You know, I like to use the analogy of a car. When you, I don't know if anybody has driven in the dark before. I'm sure a lot of us have. When you drive in the dark, you notice that other people's headlamps are entering your eyes because everybody is probably, everybody's headlamp is probably in the eyes because they are, daf they are, they are driving in the dark. But they will not lower their headlamps because of you. Any more than you will lower your headlamps because of them. The lights will be entering everybody's eyes. And everybody will just find their way. That's how life is. Don't dim your light because somebody else thinks that you are shining. The light is too bright. Let them wear glasses if they cannot cope with that brightness. On the other hand, so the other side of it is don't deliberately increase. It's just like also driving during the day and you are flashing headlamps. Why? Why? Even American specs that have their lights constantly on, it's always the dim one. It's not the bright one. So imagine driving during the day. And you are, who are you trying? What, what message are you trying to do? Or what are you trying to? What statement are you trying to make? So don't deliberately shine uh, uh, increase the lights because you want to impress when it's not needed you know but when it's your personality why not go for it go it's yours enjoy yourself don't be who you are no, don't try to be who you are not to please other people that's just the underlying message of it anyway for the tatian generally there's a thin line between vain and good 
that's because at the stage we currently are it's not just good enough that you are good looking or that you have high achievements you are also expected to be married and be popping out babies per second per second vanity has brothers in pride a high-mindedness so they can't say you are proud or you are high-minded blah 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 but the truth is you'll be all right in case you are currently facing this don't despair remember that others have faced similar things like this before you and there will be others after you so lay a good foundation for those who are coming behind and those who are ahead make them proud of you exactly because you will not always be a tatian you will not always be single and you certainly will not even always be single and over 30 at some point you'll be more than 30 and hopefully by then you would have gotten married so just enjoy this period while it lasts because nothing lasts forever i love you don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel antiruru and to follow me on instagram so let me try and see if i can wink i don't know if i'm doing it well i don't know it's just it's the only guys that can wink ladies should be able to wink now or is it just me anyway i'd love to read your comments too in my comment section below let tell me have you ever been labeled proud or are you currently facing a situation like that anyway i would really love to hear your experience i love you and do have yourself a fantabulous rest of the week ah at least if i cannot wink i can blow kills kills i love you